Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today, darlings, I'm sharing with you a few niche fragrances that I consider to be worth the hype. On this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, so if you like any of those things, or perhaps you too can appreciate all things fabulous, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. I cannot stop smiling because I'm super excited to see you guys. So let's jump into this video. Let's start with one that I recently received in my monthly subscription service of Royalty Scents. I told you guys about this one. I did a first impression. I did a little Little mini review every fragrance that I will be sharing with you today I do have full dedicated reviews to on my channel so if you want to search it and go in depth and get more details go ahead and search the fragrance and search my name and I shall appear like a genie not in the bottle though honey on YouTube okay <laughs> anyways you guys okay girl stay focused okay so anyways this one here is by dip tea this one is called do some it is so so, so good. I have been playing with this. It's the iris in here. It's the musk. It's the jasmine. It's a lot of notes in here, but they blend together really nice. And I totally consider this fragrance to be worth the hype. I'm going to spray a little bit on me. This is not going to be my fragrance of the day. You guys, today I might actually be going somewhere. So, oh my gosh, I'm even more excited. But this right here is good. If you've heard a lot of hype around the dip deep fragrances, I know I hear it around the candles all the time. I'm new to the fragrance side of it. But the candles are totally worth the hype. The fragrances are worth the hype too. I've smelled four now and out of the four that I've smelled, two of them are really, really amazing and this is one of them. This is an anytime, anywhere, any place kind of fragrance to me. It could be formal, it could be kind of dressy, it just depends on how you dress with this fragrance, but I definitely feel that this is one that I would just reach for and put on. It makes me feel very rich, very classy. It definitely gives me sophistication vibes and this fragrance right here I can really appreciate and that is Dupe Song. Allow me 2.5 seconds to mention these beautiful roses by Rose Forever New York. They sent these over you guys and they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, are you kidding me right now? This would make for an amazing, beautiful Valentine's Day gift, Mother's Day gift, any type of gift. Even if you don't have to have a gift, you just want to give somebody some roses, you want to give yourself some roses, this would definitely be a way to go. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, boy, child, woman, man, human, pull up, connect, um, you know that I love roses. I love flowers. Ever since we've been home, you know, on the whole thing that we're going through since 2020, I have discovered a love for flowers. However, they did not discover a love for me. I'm not good with flowers. I mean, I do everything they say to do. I cut the stems, I put that food in, I change the water, I put lemon. I mean, you guys, okay, I have tried it all. They do not last. Once the turn kind of cool here, I started putting the heat on, all the flowers started to die. It was just a long story. With these flowers right here, like seriously, because I love flowers, they just do something for the home when you walk past it in your different spaces. It just gives life to the home. Although most of my plants and flowers in my home are all fake. But these ones here, you know, last up to an entire year. You don't have to water them, you don't have to prune them, you don't have to change the water. They come in this beautiful hat box and they're just there, the aesthetically pleasing. They have all the different colors. Yes, she has a discount code. Yes, I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. Roses forever, thank you so much. These roses are absolutely gorgeous. You guys, go ahead and check it out. All the information will be in the description box below. Back to the video. My second fragrance coming in. Um, I have these samples here. I told you I was gonna start with my samples. Okay, so you guys, a couple months back, maybe a year now, two years even, um, I played with the house by Rado. I really went in, it took me by storm. I love the simplicity of the black and white bottles. Those were actually uh, my favorite colors, black and white. I tell you guys that all the time with a touch of gold. So I went in, I believe it was Barney's, and that's where it first caught my eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, there's so many of them. There was elevator music, there was Rado, Rose of No Man's Land, there was 1996, there was a blank bottle, there was just tons. I had no idea, I had no clue on what it was at all. So I played with it, I started spraying them, came home, did a little bit of research, found how popular a ton of them were, knew it was a niche company. Some even might be saying, Shrey, what is niche? What I have interpreted niche as, I'm gonna give it to you. It's a fragrance house that just does fragrance. They don't do clothes, they don't do shoes, they don't do, um, 
you know any of that kind of stuff they do like body care some of them do candles some of them do like body wash body gel that goes with the fragrances so it's just a house that you know totally dedicates their service and their exp expertise to fragrances and that's what I consider niche to be I don't think niche means that it costs more or that it's a better performer or better quality or better in better ingredients sometimes that is the case but that's not the case all the time I have some fragrances that are designer of fragrances Chanel I might add Tom Ford, I might add, that perform better than some niche fragrances, I will say. So that's up for discussion. That's your personal opinion. But when it comes to niche, it is just a fragrance house that specializes in fragrance. That is their main area of expertise. I move on okay so anyways back to the fragrance so here's one you guys and I gave this one a shot a couple of you know when I first got it um, months months back now ball the freak I played with it I played with it I played with it hold on I have to you know to do this I played with it and I was like not impressed okay and I have a story time a 2.5 pull up somebody asked the other day in the last video why are my hands so ashy no need we're gonna take care of that um what is a 2.5 a 2.5 you guys is just where I derail tell a story and come back and bring the video back on track sometimes sometimes I get lost it's okay though um so anyways here it is Ball de Freak. Let's spray it. Oh, I brought little cards with me today. Oh, and this one is from Byredo. She's so ready. She's so ready. <laughs> okay, so anyways, here it is, right? It's good. And I'll tell you guys what happened. Last night, I sprayed this on, took a shower, properly hydrated, moisturized, and I sprayed this on. We went down, we sat on the couch, we kind of created like a Netflix and chill. We did like a movie night, lit all the candles, lit the fireplace, um, made some mocktails. We really had a really great time. I made this amazing dinner and whatnot, what have you. So I thought I would put this on, do something different, right? You guys, okay? This had me smelling myself the entire night. The whole time I was down there, my guy's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I can't stop smelling myself. He was like, what's wrong? I'm like, I don't know. It's this fragrance. It's Bald the Freak. Mojave Ghost. I mixed them both together. Bald the Freak and Mojave Ghost. I put one on this arm, one on this arm, one on this side, one on this side. And I just kept leaning more towards the Bald the Freak. And I have been playing with both. And I have my Mojave Ghost lotion here because they have lotions. They have the... Um, body wash they have the body cream they have the body like i stated the body lotion i'm gonna go ahead and just lotion my hands right now because i just can't i mean i've been washing them all this time because you know all that we have going on they just will not stay hydrated and they will not stay moisturized so let's put on the mojave ghost but you guys both of these are worth the hype they are both really 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 amazing fragrances this ball to freak is everything it's a warm woody floral it has a lemon black currant you guys there's a ton of notes in here okay violet jazz vetiver amber musk it is beautiful it is sensual it is sexy it's not doing too much um where's my card at that I have even sprayed it on oh my gosh it's good it's good though this will be coming home with me I'm just telling you that this is one fragrance from byredo that is worth the hype I know a lot of times people say they don't last very long I didn't think that this lasts very long but to be honest with you after playing with it again and I did spray heavy let's just be honest I sprayed really really heavy you guys I got at least six to seven hours out of this fragrance now when I woke up this morning I did go in to get a quick and I didn't really smell it it was there very faintly but really not even there so I won't even make mention of that although I already did anyways disregard it this one is really good Ball de Freak is good uh, I told you about Gypsy Water I have a whole dedicated video to Byredo and at least about 12 of their fragrances um, Gypsy Water I wasn't a fan of but Ball de Freak Mojave Ghost I absolutely stand for those fragrances and I think they are totally totally worth the hype I move on another one that's been hyped up all over Instagram all over everywhere all over YouTube is portrait of a lady remember I spoke to you guys about that a couple of months ago I was supposed to get it however I told you I was not gonna buy the huge bottle because I'm only gonna spray it very sparingly because it is super 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 strong so I wanted to get the I think it's like a eight ounce a six ounce. I don't know it's a very small one and they've been out of stock so I'm just like whatever so I did talk to some of you and you recommended getting the body cream so as soon as she gets back out off the no buy I'll just be picking up that but I will say portrait of a lady is an amazing fragrance a beautiful rose fragrance I absolutely love it I have like about 17 18 19 of these samples that I've just been playing with and it is amazing you guys this is another fragrance that has some of everything in it Turkish rose raspberry black currant cinnamon uh, patchouli sandalwood benzoin the list goes on and on and on all I want you to know is that it is 
definitely worth the hype like i stated this too i have a full dedicated review on my channel i've been playing with this fragrance for the past two and a half years and i'm just like okay girl like it's time but i'm not gonna buy a big one so until they have the size that i want i'm just gonna pick up the body cream i move on not gonna spend a lot of time here you guys if you've seen it this one here killian angel shares this is definitely worth the hype everybody's talking about it it's all the rage it has been since it's dropped since it's launched since it's come out and it is it is good good it is cinnamon it is cognac it is good it is boozy it is warm it is rich it is inviting the bottle is everything it is definitely definitely in my opinion totally worth the hype this part over here is kind of plasticky a little bit but i mean it's a beautiful Beautiful fragrance nonetheless you can wear this dressy you can wear it anywhere I would say but I would probably for me wear it on a date night I'd probably wear it to a formal event a party um, what's coming up you know anything what did you wear this on Valentine's I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know I, I have some other stuff in mind for Valentine's you guys but this right here is good I believe this could be worn on a man a woman a boy a child a human I believe this could be a unisex fragrance it is unisex fragrance however I just wish it was more inside but I'm gonna tell you this it's so worth the hype I so believe in it once I get done with this bottle she will be going back to have it refilled I move on another one I didn't know if this house was considered niche to me they were I don't think they make clothes I don't think they make shoes or anything like that so in my opinion she claimed it and put it down as niche that is Jo Malone I have been telling you guys about this fragrance forever and a day this is mirth and Tonka I told you this is a type of sexy that I wasn't doing for anybody else this is the type of sexy that I am doing just for me this is a warm fragrance vanilla tonka bean it's sweet it's cozy it's intoxicating it's nutty i tell you about this one all the time this is definitely worth the hype you keep seeing it all over instagram i keep seeing it all over youtube as well i will say i stand with them this fragrance by joe malone mirth and tonka is totally worth the hype the longevity is there the siage is there i will say i do have to spray a little bit heavier with this one but nonetheless it is just good good I mean it's so intoxicating that you smell yourself and you just want more have you ever had those fragrances where you're like and you could just keep doing that all day this is one of those this right here is worth the hype I move on of course this one was gonna be in here this is perfumes de Molly Dalina it's totally worth the hype I've heard several people say it's over hype it's so much hype it's nothing but hype 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 it's worth the hype you heard it here you heard it from her this right here is worth the hype from the craftsmanship of the bottle to the tassels it is just simply amazing this is rhubarb this is lychee this is a beautiful sour tart type of fragrance I will say this the exclusive as well as the original in my opinion are both worth the hype it just depends on what you're feeling more if you want something a little more seductive a little more evening a little more I don't know colder weather I would say exclusive would be a great way to go however this can be worn year round it's set to be really beautiful and it is spring summer but I wear them all the way I wear them year round whatever I'm feeling I reach for I'm really not a seasonal type of sprayer just unless they're like super super heavy I probably won't reach for them in the summer but this one here I would totally totally reach for it is so uber good it has a Turkish rose it has vanilla it's just a beautiful beautiful fragrance this too would be an amazing gift for Valentine's Day as well if you have been contemplating it or thinking it I always say start with the sample if this is a pretty penny which I believe it is as well you can start with the body cream I always recommend starting with the body cream of a fragrance you can see if you really like it I have a friend to the channel who has said she has been rocking that and people are stopping her asking her all the time what she's wearing so I would recommend that as well and then be layered is another option they have a fragrance called first kiss I did a review on that um, if you want more details look it up it is very comparable to this fragrance right here I move on another one this one here Santal 33 oh my gosh you guys I absolutely love this fragrance I recently picked it up um, around Christmas time and I absolutely love it it's so good it's so good I know I hear so many people say everybody has it everybody talks about it everybody in New York is rocking it and they're rocking it with good reason it's worth the rock it's worth the hype it's worthy to be spoken of it is really really good now here's a story I do have another 2.5 because that's what I was telling you guys why I was actually going on the no buy because I wanted to get a chance to develop a relationship with my fragrances to get some chemistry with them and to be able to really bring you a full in-depth detail about their performance on me because you know I'm only spraying it on me but how it really performs and what I'm truly getting from the fragrance now I thought I would be slick 
and I'm like, oh, I'm staying in because I haven't gone anywhere. So I thought I'd be slick and I'm like, oh, you know, I always put my fragrances on out of the shower, moisturize, that's just what I do. Um, that's what I recommend as well. But anyhow, I sprayed this on and I may have sprayed too much. I think I only sprayed two to three sprays, you know, and for me, that's not a whole lot. So then I went down, I'm sitting on my couch and the guy is like, <laughs> the guy, my Lord, <laughs> because I'm watching way too much Bridgerton, but my Lord is like, what do you have on? And I'm like, why? And he's like, it's good. He's like, what is it? And I'm like, it's Sound Tal 33 by Lilabo. But the whole time, you guys, I could barely concentrate on the Netflix show we're watching. I could barely enjoy my dinner because it was so strong, so prevalent, so there, so in my face that I was like, what in the world? I needed to be out. I needed for the wind to hit. I needed it to be crisp. So this wouldn't be something I'm gonna reach for in the house unless I just spray it once, like Lancome Eau Bouquet. This is a one and done. Just one spritz, that's all you need. This one is Woody Powder leathery it's a warm spicy it has iris my new favorite note amber sandalwood cedarwood cardamom. this is good and it's worth the hype I don't care how many people rock it there's never gonna be anybody that can rock it like me I'm one of a kind and so are you so don't let fragrances being popular or worth the hype you say oh I'm not gonna rock it because everybody else has it can nobody do it like you I move on another one that everybody has everybody's talking about it's all over it's, all of these are that okay that's why the whole video is called are they worth the hype? And she's here to deliver the news. Today, they're worth the hype. Baccarat Rouge 540, this is totally worth the hype. I know you hear about it all the time. I went in with Baccarat Rouge 540. I bought the candle, I bought the body cream, I bought the body oil, I bought the extreme version. Um, I think they have a hair, all of it, okay? I bought all of it, I have no regrets. Well, this candle is a little sus. I've been playing with it a little bit more. It works better in really small, small rooms, just in case you guys wanna know, because I know I have it burning. This is a huge room, so it's doing barely nothing, but the aesthetics of it is good and I told you I'm an aesthetic girl and I like a good vibe and it's providing that so that's why we lit it anyways um the fragrance is amazing this is sexy this can be worn to me anytime anywhere any place it doesn't have to be worn to a special occasion or a fancy event I tell you guys every single time anytime that you are blessed to wake up that God has allowed you to see another day it is a special occasion it is a special event opening your eyes and having warm blood run through your body and you're breathing on your own okay Take a second, let that marinate, let that hit. You're breathing on your own, that's an occasion. And if I feel like reaching for Baccarat Rouge 540, she's gonna reach for it. I wore it the other night to bed, lathered myself up, honey, I had a good sleep. This right here is worth the hype, and it is good, good. For those of you wanting some of the notes, amber, saffron, jasmine, um, it has cedar, ambergris, it's musky, it's woody, it's good. Now this is not something I would recommend that you blind buy. This is not for everybody. It's just not, um, some people love it, some people hate it, some people say it smells like band Dates. I've never gotten any of that. Um, I got a little bit of what in the world in the beginning. I got a little bit of like, oh, you know, like that. Just because I was confused and I couldn't place it. It smelled like warm burning sugar. Then it smelled, I don't know, I just couldn't comp compartmentalize it. But today, yeah, she likes it. Back secured, I move on. Another one well worth the hype is this one here. I'm not leaving or straying too far from what I've already told you guys. This one here, creative interest for her. I told you I had mixed reviews about it in the beginning, didn't really get it, didn't understand it, didn't think it was worth the hype. Played with it a little bit. I don't know if it was a fruity, citrus, woody, musky, sandalwood, green apple. I can't tell you what it was. Something hit and I clicked and I went out and I picked it up because this right here is good. Perfect for spring, summer, can even be worn year round in my opinion. This right here is well worth the hype. This is good, good. I move on. Another one. This one right here, Angelique Noir, is absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. It is sexy. It is rich. It is creamy. It is vanilla. It is just sweet. This one I have heard so much hype around and I can say this one here is definitely well worth the hype. It's long lasting. It's I move on. And our final one is this one here. This one is by Rosa Parfums. This is Elixir. I tell you guys about this all the time. I did a collaboration with them last year sometime and was gifted this bottle but it is simply beautiful. In my opinion their fragrances are worth the hype. I mean they smell good. The longevity is there. This one here is a very light oriental fragrance but at the same same time it's really really beautiful I never recommend you to spray fragrances on your clothes when you're wearing something such as this like a light blouse something silky something anything like that because it could stain fragrances do have oils in them so sometimes that can stain your clothes stain the material anything like that however when I'm wearing dark clothes or something that I'm just like 
You know what I mean? I will spray my clothes and I'm fine. That's just what I do, but I want to make mention to you, be careful spraying your clothes. I would never spray this blouse because it's white, so I know it would stain. But this one here is beautiful. I will heavy spray this, I will spray my clothes, spray my hair, and I get a nice, six to five longevity out of it if I hydrate and put on a body cream and the whole thing with it it will last a little bit longer but I do believe that their fragrances are totally worth the hype some of my favorite ones are Scandal, um, Danger is really good, 51 is good I mean they're all just really good they're just all really expensive so this one here is really really good I absolutely love it and it's totally worth the hype you guys some of the notes inside of this one let's just spray it just because I'm probably gonna spray it on this part of my arms you never do that, right? Do we know that? Do we know that we spray and we don't do this? I know it's so habit, right? You spray and then you wanna do this. I know, I know. But what I've been taught is to spray and dab. But you really don't even wanna dab in the initial spray because the first notes that you spray are generally the notes that you get when you first smell a fragrance. It's what makes you love the fragrance or fall in love with it. The base and the middle notes come down the road. So if you disturb it, the molecules right up front, then you really aren't getting the full, um, what is it called? Smell of the fragrance, I should say. Oh my gosh, girl. All we wanna do is spray fragrance, okay? We are not here for all that. Okay, but anyways, you guys, sometimes you just wanna know, so, and I need to tell you, so I just wanted to tell you that. Can we just leave it there? Okay, anyways. Some of the notes inside of this one is bergamot, lily of the valley, rose de mai, peach, cinnamon, cedar, this is good. This is a beautiful fragrance, and I will tell you this, this is a perfect fragrance for coming up for spring, summer. Those nights that you wanna go out, or days that you wanna go out, and you really don't wanna spray something too heavy, but you still wanna smell sexy, you wanna smell like a goddess, like a lady, like you applied yourself, you know how to carry yourself, you're that person, you're that one, this is the one that you're gonna reach for and spray. And that is it, you guys. Those are a few of the fragrances that I have in my collection or that I want to add in my collection that I feel are totally worth the hype. They have been hyped up, whether it be in brand, whether it be in the single fragrance itself. And I can say, in my opinion, those are totally worth the hype. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I truly, truly appreciate you. I will see you beautiful souls in the next video. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.